What is up, what ifers? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, make sure you hit that like button because it helps out the channel. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. Today, y'all, we're going to be looking at some of the most craziest, creepiest, and weirdest TikToks that'll make you rethink everything. So you're going to want to stay locked in because you ain't going to believe this. everybody see wrong with this picture right hold on let me get a close-up for everybody what does everybody see wrong with this picture who is that right there i'm sure we're all very well aware of who pearl mania is right he wouldn't give us biased news would he or who v from under the desk news is right they definitely wouldn't give us biased news would they yeah, i'm sure it's no coincidence that they were seen together at the white house but just wait what are you doing what are you doing in this picture with the selfie with this motherfucking piece of shit Oh, but wait, there's more. What do you see wrong with this picture? Here, let's get a close-up. What do you see wrong with this picture? Oh, there's good old Harry, who's known for spewing bullshit-ass propaganda on this app. Oh, and here's another one of Pro Mania wow. being so proud about being at the White House, right? But what if I told you this gets much deeper than you'd like to think? For example, right here, this article paints it very well. Here's a statistic for you. A third of people ages 18 to 29 prefer to get their news supposedly from TikTok and other social media. So the White House is supposedly working on new ways to get its message out to those audiences. And more than 20 people were there with ring lights and audio equipment taking it all in. And it's supposedly part of a White House strategy to reach younger people where they are, which often is supposedly scrolling on a device with help from influencers. Influencers such as V from Under the Desk News, wow. who says to be at the people's house having lemonade waiting for the president to speak is a very exciting moment. As you can see, like it says here, that's V, host of Under the Desk News, which provides minute-long daily news wraps to 2.7 million TikTok followers. Oh, and there was supposedly a special briefing for V and other content creators ahead of the ceremony. I wonder what was discussed in that special briefing. Honestly, if people can't realize that there's two motherfucking sides to the same motherfucking coin at this point, you're just choosing to remain dual-minded. Truly a mindless little consumer that chooses to be an NPC, not caring about who the fuck they're voting into the fucking house. Not giving a fuck about who they're voting for to lead us as the people. So I guess it's mm. time to cancel V from Under the Desk News and Mr. Pearl Mania himself, right? Gotta love when people just sell themselves out for a bag, right? It's crazy. It ain't got to the point you can't even trust the TikTokers now. They reaching out to the TikTokers just to get them on their side. I don't know if y'all get those little text messages in your phone about Biden and have you voted for Biden? Hey, wait, uh, we want to con contact you to see if you voted. Make sure you got your vote in for Biden. Wait a minute. How you know I'm voting for Biden in the first place? So y'all get in the comments and let me know. Do y'all get those text messages? Man, he's scared himself. He look like he don't like it. What does it mean? Hmm. It's kind of ghoulish. It's kind of like a massacre or something here. It'd be really cool as like a you know a rock music cover album or something album cover or something maybe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the sky is falling. Failing. Sorry. The matrix is falling. The sky. Simulator. Failing. Camera. That is some kind of an artificial uh, background. Artificial sky. Uh, yellow. Looks like wires, maybe? Yeah, that's trippy. That's trippy. Hold up. Hold up. Let me get another angle. Nope. Got to see this. Nope. Look at this. What the fuck? Look at this. Somebody. Somebody help me understand that. Yeah, help me understand. Somebody help me understand what the heck that is. Look at uh, uh, oh, oh, the, uh, no. That's, that's, the sky's trip. Big time. Big time, baby. Big time. Look at this. Look at this. What the fuck? Get out of the way. Look at this. Somebody please explain. Well, I don't know if it's real or not, but I will say this, that if y'all don't believe that Blue Beam is a real thing, I feel bad for you. Leaked footage from 1969 of our flat Earth from the Apollo 11. You can see land beyond the ice wall. This is proof. The problem with this video is that one minute... They say that NASA is lying, but in this video, they're telling the truth. 
how we know they're not lying about this? And I don't even think this video is real anyway, so. Preparations for something that happened. It's currently living responsible is a good idea. Elected an African-American president. Uh, I think we're always a work in progress in this country, uh, but no one currently alive was responsible for that. Remember, we're not talking about a gift to anybody. We're talking about mending what was broken. We're talking about the generational theft of the wealth of generations of African Americans. And just crossing out a racist policy and replacing it with a neutral one is not enough to deliver equality. Harms compound, just like a dollar saved in its value compounds over time. So does the value of a dollar stolen. And that is why the United States must act immediately with investments in minority-owned businesses, with investments in health equity, with investments in HBCUs, and on the longer term, uh, look at reparations so that we can mend what... Now, here's what I think about all of this. First of all, when I was in high school, I wrote this poem called Purple Politics because red and blue, they're united. Democrats and Republicans, they're all on the same team. They, they all go and eat lunch, eat dinner together. They're all in cahoots. America is just smoke and mirrors. So I don't take either side. And I know that most people would think that I would side with the Democrat. But honestly, I don't side with either of these people because I know they're full of baloney. All right. So in my personal opinion, yes, reparations are due. African-Americans fueled this country. So yes, we should get reparations. Will we ever get reparations? No. But we're not just African-Americans because African-Americans, that's two continents and you can't be two continents. We're actually the Israelites of the Bible. We are the children of the Most High Yah and he's going to redeem his chosen people. You just wait and see. Now, what I have to say about red and blue, red and blue is the color of boxing rings. Red and blue was the color of the police lights. Red and blue is the color of the Crips and Bloods. Red and blue is the color of SmackDown and Raw. You see where I'm going with this, okay? Red and blue stems from Freemasonry. And it's all smoke and mirrors. It's all deception. It's all to make you feel like your opinion is being voiced. And you have somewhere to go to make you feel like you have freedom. That's all it is. It's AOT. Tell me what you think. Peace. Let's go hmm. again. Well, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If you have been popping your big shit about moving the fuck up out of this motherfucking country of the United States of bullshit, now is the time to do so. They have literally voted on a bill named Title Grade Two. And what this bill consists of, make a long story short, they're about to make HT. legal I begin the H or I believe the H ends with the letter N and the T word come on girl ends with the letter K Make long story short, America, we have been betrayed in the worst way. Motherfucking possible. <laughs> this ain't nothing new. Crazy part about it is, this is not the 1800s. This is not the 1600s, 1700s. Honey, this is happening in 2024. Our goofy ass government is literally just voted on a bill for that shit. And that shit could be passed through the motherfucking Senate. So when that do hit the Senate, then what? Hmm. Well, 
it ain't no surprise that HT will become legal. But that's just what you know about. What about all the other laws that we don't know about that already have passed? Oh, I didn't think I was going to say this, but thank you to TikTok for putting back up my black swan video that uh, those of you who complain try to take down. Well, thank you. It's back up. Have a look. Because today, MOD got hacked. It's not Russia. It is definitely not Russia. Look at the history. Look at what I've said. Office is coming. I want to be wrong, but be prepared. Off to another meeting. Job trafficking. So most of the travelers you're going to see, they just going to work. The gang stalkers going to make blocks. You're going to be able to, you're going to be able to pinpoint their cars because most of these individuals, they are just communing back and forth with the work. The gang stalker going to have to turn a block. The gang stalker going to have to expose themselves. You retirees and the big old, uh, 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 1200 Rams and the Lexuses and the Cadillacs that's following me around in this little Nissan G6. You're going to have to expose yourself to God today and let the world know how important I am in this G6. So you're going to have to make blocks in that big old Cadillac. You're going to have to make blocks in that big old Escalade. You're going to have to keep making blocks in that 2022, that 2023. And you're going to show the world how important this little broke dude is that's staying at the shelter that's riding a G6. You're going to show the world how important I am. God is going to show the world how important I am. So I put my gang stalkers in this position. This morning, this is the position they in. Yeah, but gang stalkers have been a thing in black neighborhoods for a long time. Like I don't know if y'all know, and this for the people who don't live in the in the hoods. But you know, I have family that still live in the hood. We have so many cameras in those neighborhoods, especially the neighborhood I grew up in. Was never like that. But now it is. So gang stalkers have always been around the neighborhoods. But the thing about it is, the trippy part is, they don't chase down the gangs. They mess with people who are hard workers, who have done nothing, and they harass. That's the trippy part. So why are they really there? It's always been a setup because they don't mess with the gang members. Because as you can see in the news every day, the gang members are still causing problems. They don't go and 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 track them down. They track down the regular people in them neighborhoods who surround it and who's at risk of being attacked by the gangs. Also, they harass them. That's the crazy part about it. And if you don't live in the hood, you wouldn't even notice. But this stuff happens every day. And it's cameras on every block. Like, I don't know if y'all been to like the grocery store and they have like those surveillance cameras in the parking lot with the big generator at the bottom and stuff. Yeah, they got those hanging on the poles everywhere you go in the neighborhoods now, everywhere. But if you come out to the neighborhoods like where I live at now, you don't see any of that. You don't see any of those. So I'm from the inside and I've got out of there and I'm here on the outside looking in and I see the difference. I see the difference being made. And I try to talk to my my homeboys, my old friends, and I try to tell them, bro, y'all have to move like this. Be careful, this, that, and the third. But they don't hear it because they're not here where I'm at seeing the difference. They know it's a setup, but they live the way they got to live because it's just how they got to live. They got to get it the way that they live. When you're in a poverty struck in neighborhood and you have to understand that nothing good ever comes from it. Maybe about 10 of maybe a thousand people in the neighborhood who get out and go do something better. And for the other ones, they get stuck and they get stuck by so many mistakes they've made in their lives. And, and now they have all of these felonies and blah, 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 blah on their background that they can't move up in life because it was designed for you to get caught up like that. Yes, you have a choice, but when times are hard and you have nothing else, you have to get in those streets. For those who don't understand. Hey, aber weißt du, was mir aufgefallen ist? Die, die nehmen dich der Sonne weg. Sunflowers are turning away from the sun because that's not the sun. A must see. Oh my gosh. Sehr komisch. I hope people understand that the sun goes, rises in the east and sets in the west, right? So why, if, if the sun rises in the east, why wouldn't you plant your sunflowers eastward? towards the sun i mean that's where those flowers are probably planted eastward and the sun is getting ready to set 
shit's getting weird. Part infinity. Yep, this is actually happening, and millions of dogs are being infected with deadly diseases that after just one lick is causing people to have multiple organ failures and all limbs amputated. People were terrified after one woman had a tiny paper cut on her hand, oh, wow. and after her dog licked it, she woke up the next morning with her hands and legs needing immediate amputation, and this could be happening to other dog owners. The doctor told the woman that if she did not get amputated, the virus would have spread through her entire body in a matter of just hours, and eventually her heart. People thought this disease wasn't common, but were shocked that over a whopping 70% of dogs will have it, and it will remain dormant in them. Doctors have started warning others against having dogs lick any wounds and avoid licks to any parts of the face, including eyes, nose, and oh mouth. Oh my God! Why do y'all do that, bro? Known as the Capnocytophaga bacteria. Although this woman's condition is rare, if a dog passes this on to you with other bacteria, She's still it could be the end of. First oh. things first. Did she just let the dog lick again? Again. <laughs> <laughs> Second thing, I looked and I didn't see any niggas depicted in that video either. <laughs> Stop, bro. Because we don't let dogs lick our face no, like we that. Don't. It's just the hell no. Most of us don't. Okay? Hell no. We got lucky because Peanut doesn't lick my face. I, I can put my face next to Peanut. He'll be like, nigga, ugh. It, right. Watch, I'll show you. Watch, watch. Hey, Peanut. Look at him. That's how my dog used to be. Can I just get a kiss real quick, Peanut? He's like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> now, from my understanding, this is rare. This is very rare. I looked it up and I was like, and then I came back to the guy's video and I was like, bro, why did you make your video like this? The background music, all that stuff, fear mongering 101. <laughs> but regardless, don't let your dogs look at baseball. That shit is nasty. But to each his own. Matt Cowell said, I cut the hair around my dog's eyes because it was getting long. And blocking his vision. So now, look like somebody what I does know. it mean when my dog looks at me like this? Matt. Matt. Welcome to the Lugau series, Matt. You see this dog right here? <laughs> as soon as you cut his hair, look at his face. He's looking at you that way because his identity has been revealed. Look at you. He's looking, he looking at you like a grown man in his 40s said, why you got to do this to me? I was just trying to not pay bills, mind my business. Now I got to go back to working my nine to five. Yeah. Your dog looks like Frank Gallagher. Yeah, he do. I don't know who Frank Gallagher is. Hold yeah. on. Tell he me does. this. <laughs> he does. Tell me this not your dog, man. He does. If he had got the picture. Oh, look. If he had got the picture of Frank not smiling. Oh, uncanny, bro. Uncanny. Oh, he got to go make sure his CDL license not suspended and get back to work. <laughs> My bad. You got to get back on the road by 12 p.m. All Damn. because of what? Matt decided to cut his hair. <laughs> that's crazy so let me get this right first japan wants and encourages black men to travel across seas and impregnate their women and now billionaires primarily white billionaires are saying that they prefer black wives and black women are for grown-ups because of what they bring to the table hmm i don't trust this shit like do they think we're fucking stupid what if i told you that Japan was really looking for black people because they know with the new sun up there, well, they might just need a little more color to survive. Now, let's tick talk about it. First off, this is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Have you ever thought about what's going to happen to the Caucasian, Asian, Caucasian, okay, race? with the new sun that is as bright and as powerful as that sun in the sky is. We know that the old sun was causing skin melanoma, skin cancer to the pale Caucasians. So what is this new super bright sun that's in the sky gonna do? It seems as if it might accelerate the process. And if it is gonna accelerate the process, there is only one way that that species survives on this planet. 
and that is to procreate with those my color. You have to add melanin to your bloodline. As much as a lot of them do not want to do this, they know that their time is limited because the sun is only going to get stronger. And after a while, the only way they'll be able to inhabit this planet is if they have some color. So you ask again, why is Japan looking for black men to come over? Well, it's because soon they're going to need us. They're going to need us more than they ever thought they would need us before. Y'all still can't see the game they playing. They're making the black man and the black woman completely mad at each other and then throwing every other race in their face. Boy, y'all better keep up. You know, it's crazy because there was a study that I had read a couple years ago, and it said, and I quote, that by the year 2050, there will be a predominantly brown race. The world would be predominantly brown. Now, y'all tell me how that's going to be possible if what they saying ain't true. I'm surprised more people aren't talking about this, but the Vatican is reportedly preparing for an upsurge of supernatural events. According to the report, the Vatican will be releasing a text on May 17th explaining exactly how to discern and deal with apparitions, supernatural forces, and other phenomena. Now to me, it sounds like spiritual warfare is once again ramping up and people in certain positions know this and are trying to warn the public. I've already been hearing and seeing multiple posts from people claiming that they and people around them are getting irritated and upset a lot quicker than they normally would, and with strange events happening like massive solar storms hitting the earth, people claiming to see demon faces, and people recording shadows flying by during the solar eclipse, maybe something did shift in our world that we the people need to be mentally and spiritually prepared for. On the other hand, there is a growing group of people that don't trust the Vatican in anything they say whatsoever and there's a couple of reasons behind it. For starters, it's pretty well known that they have a large archive of religious texts that's hidden from the general public. There's no confirmation as to what's actually in these archives, but some people theorize that there are original texts from books that were taken out of the Bible. People have also pointed out that some of the architecture and artwork in the Vatican looks a little sinister or evil in nature. But leave it like and let me know what you think about all this. Well, I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave it here. Is this spiritual warfare really for us or is it for the people who have been doing all the dirt in this world? Something to think about. Things that make you go, hmm, I don't know. All I know is that we all have our own personal spiritual battles. And we have no room to be dealing with the personal spiritual battles of the people of the Vatican or the people of the church or the preachers or the, the apostles. We have no time and no room for it. I say let these demons or angels come in and rip a new asshole in these people like they supposed to do. And for those who believe and who are true believers, you would agree with me on this, right? Let God, Jesus, do his work to all of these evil people who have deceived us for all of these years, right? Let them have it. We got our own spiritual battles that we need to be worried about. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you not to be prepared for anything. Always be prepared and stay prayed up, but let them have it. Obviously, the things that we're seeing fly through the sky ain't for us. It's for them. How do we know that thing that was flying in the sky wasn't headed to the Vatican? Y'all remember a couple of videos back? There was a video of a priest talking and get, being interviewed and a so-called demon knocked on the door, right? Hmm, where is that coming from? What if it's for them and not for us? I say let them have it. And like I always say, do what you will with that information. And hey, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. Man, head over to the Rumble. The link is in the description. Follow me over there. We already 27, y'all. We need a few more. I'm trying to get to 50. I'm trying to get to 50. Y'all, I got like 6,000 followers over here. I know we can do it.
go ahead and hit that follow button. Hit that link and head over there. And I also put the link in the community tab too if you don't see it in the description. So there's no excuse. Y'all head over there, hit follow so I can start going live, okay? Because these videos are about to end. And what I'm going to start doing is that when I go live over there, Whatever video I go live with over there, I'll take that video and move it from there and upload it here on YouTube for the people who missed it. That's how we're going to start rolling, what if us. And remember, challenge the argument and not the person.